Good morning guys, welcome back to the next episode. Now I'm absolutely buzzing for this one, it's Bermuda Day, it's May 29th. When you guys are seeing this video, it's probably going to be in late June, LA Jags, we've got so many videos that we just played from Mexico. But we're back at Grotto Bay Resort, a dive from Munich Grotto Bay, because it's the first time since Covid, the shop's reopening. Can't wait to go diving up there again, because we get to go explore the northern wrecks, the northern reefs as well, which you don't really get to go in Bermuda, only Grotto Bay. I dive me that Grotto Bay runs that, so let's go in, let's go see how it is. Yeah. Now he's frozen on camera. <laughs> see, he's <laughs> here, always say hello on camera. That's proof that we were here. Yeah, exactly. Proof that Sarah was on land and she might not come back. <laughs> yes, she was. Hi, Robin. Good morning, Bobby. I love it. Welcome aboard our very first trip from this dive shop since September 2019. Woo! Woo! What a time! <laughs> I am stoked to be reopened down here. Um, just before we go too far guys, I can count to 10, um, but I'll just do a roll call so when you hear your name, just give me a yell. Lily? Yep. Greg? Yep. Ice Queen? I didn't do my dry suit today. <laughs> Don't even choke. Don't choke. It was so good to finally get back out with Dive Minute Grotto Bay and be out guiding visitors and locals again at this dive shop because at Dive Bermuda at Grotto Bay we run the north and the east of the island so you get to dive the wrecks and reefs there which are amazing and we're dropping down onto the Rita Zavetta. Now this ship was actually built in 1919 by Stephen Sons Limited, which is a Scottish shipyard in actually my hometown of Glasgow. And this cargo ship was originally known as the War Gaskin, and it was outfitted to be a tanker. But two years later, the ship was converted to carry dry cargo and sold to an Italian company from Genoa and renamed the Rita Zavetta. We actually sailed from the port of Potti in Georgia in the Black Seas to Baltimore, Maryland in 1924. But the vessel, which is actually a 52 foot beam, ran aground in heavy seas in the southeastern end of Bermuda just off St David's Lighthouse. There was no loss of life thankfully, and most of the cargo of the magnesium ore was offloaded before the ship sank on 13th of February 1924. Now the ship was heavily salvaged as you can see in the footage to recover the non-ferrous scrap metals such as brass, copper and pipes several times during World War II. But what was amazing about this dive site when you actually explore it is as you saw earlier there's this huge beam, it's the actually drive shaft that runs along quite for some considerable distance. It's staggering how much life of coral and parrotfish are actually eating and growing on it which is amazing. But just underneath it there's a small crack between it and the reef where you're able to drop down and go explore underneath the wreck. But as we're at the deeper parts, we're at this window section. I know it's a cargo hold, but we call it the window, where you can kind of come through. We're about 21 meters, 70 feet here, and we come along here to where the boilers are as well. As you can see, the boilers are precariously holding on top of each other on top of the reef. One's in the sand, but one's just resting on top of the other one in the reef. And then as you can see, you have Holly coming through the window as well. It's really a cargo hold, but we call it a window. And then for the second dive, we were diving Lionfish Reef just off Cooper's Island. And what I love about Bermuda is all the reef is very different. So on the east of the island, it's almost like many walls, where this is about 
6 to 8 metres and drops straight down to 18 metres. As you can see, Holly is gliding down to the depth just now. And of course, she's landed head first, touchdown, smack right into the sand. She regretted that because her hair was full of sand after that and trying to get the sand out is a nightmare. But as you can see, we have this really cool pudding wipe for us. And I know it looks very silty just now, but that's because we're flicking up the sand because it will play in the sand with you. And it's a great way to get them close to interact and for footage. But they're such a curious fish and it's actually one of my favorite fish in Bermuda, the pudding wipe for us. As we continue exploring along the reef, around Lionfish Reef, Holly has actually found the remains of a spiny lobster. It's either been eaten out or it shed its skin and Holly's trying to get Lulu's attention to show Lulu the remains of a spiny lobster shell that she found across. And of course, Lulu, so focused on trying to find lionfish, when she finally spots it, starts laughing because she sees it's just the remains. If it's been eaten or it shed its skin, shell, and Holly's just like, yep. Lily just looked at me strangely. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming out with us and we'll see you guys in the next video.